like I've definitely been out there meditating and like uh, connected to everything the way that you're supposed to when you you meditate and you connect to to source and everything. And I've heard the plants it. talk and I've seen spirits and I've seen spirits come out of people and. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I believe it. I mean, I've, I've witnessed an exorcism. Wait, 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 So, wait, wait. so <laughs> oh, hold on. When, when people were there, were they just kind of like, mm, yeah, well, there's a spirit or were they like, shook? Uh, usually the person that it's coming out of is freaking out. Like if, if a spirit, if like someone's doing an intensive breathwork practice and they're healing something and uh, something is releasing, a spirit is coming out of their body, usually they're freaking out. And then the spirit's leaving and they're like, oh my God, I didn't know that was there. And then you help them move it out and basically do an exorcism. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. I've yeah. witnessed an exorcism. So that shit is wild. Really? What, yeah. what happened? Um, okay. <laughs> Cause I've told, 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 I told this already on my other podcast, awkward tea party. Make sure you listen to that. But <laughs> uh, uh, in this one, and I, I can also like chalk it up to like some, it was some sort of psychological thing that he was going through. So, cause I would just to preface that, like, and I would say those two are usually connected. Yeah. The, have then spirits with them. We were, this was in high school. We were going through like a, uh, like the, it was a retreat. We we're going visiting all the different, um, mission churches in LA. The last one was in Solvang. Um, we were at the, this little chapel. Uh, those of you guys know who know uh, the Catholic practice, there's something called a monstrance, which is like a golden little th- thing where they believe that the bo- the body of Jesus Christ is like a little, you know, the little bread that they they do. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we were there like, like ending it. I don't remember what time it is, maybe nine or 10. We we're just ending it. Uh, we were praying. And then in front of me is the monstrance to my back. Right. Is where the a wooden door. And then I, the next thing I hear is a gush, 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 like mm. like someone's trying to pull the door open. And I'm like, must be the priest. You know, he's got keys. He, he'll find a way in. And I'm like praying, <laughs> like whatever, like trying to re- reflect me on the day. Maybe two to five minutes later, gush, 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 gush. like someone like you, like literally someone like intently trying to pull the door open and i'm like looking i'm like this fucking priest is stupid does not have keys to his own damn church <laughs> and then I'm, i continue praying and then i hear it again let one last time and the next thing i know like like uh right behind me there's a monster and right behind me is a huge stained glass window of the virgin mary i see a shadow walk by and then i have you guys seen donnie darko like yeah. it's, uh, it's Donnie Darko. It's that rabbit thing that just walks in, like walks, and then just stares. Oh. And it's just standing there, like nothing. And I'm like looking at it, because I remember when I was pacing, it was my back left where it was happening. I still get chills just like now that I'm talking about it in super detail. It, it's like I'm looking at it. I'm looking at everyone. Everyone's still praying. It's a creepy thing. Is like, is everyone fucking seeing this? And for me, like I'm an artist. Like I was going to art school at the time. Like not art school. I was still. I was trying to go. I was still heavy into arts at the time. Um, I was like, nah, it's my imagination. It's my imagination. It's just like fucking chill. Like, but it's there. Like it. Like in my mind, it felt unreal. But at the same time, what I'm seeing felt real. And then at the other same time, I saw another friend of mine who sees things like more shadows. He's bawling because he's so scared right now. And another friend puts his hand on my shoulder, like right on, I think here. And he says, pray harder because he's here. Mm. And the next thing you know, my friend uh, just goes ballistic and goes like fucking a Hulk mode, starts punching the ground for no reason. And I'm like, this motherfucker is so disrespectful, acting like that in, ch- in a chapel right now. But I'm like, but then I look back and so it's gone. Like the thing that was there is gone. And then whatever is happening, I guess, took hold of my friend, I guess. And he was like, he was eyes closed and full on rage Hulk mode. Um, my it took all my strength to hold one side of his arm, my other friend to hold down the other side of my arm. My youth minister had to pin him down, go through this whole process of like, uh, I don't even remember exactly. I just remember 
being so fucking scared for my life because I'm like <laughs> this like fucking exorcist the movie I'm like oh no where I'm in a fucking like I, I thought this is just a movie but this is like real life right now like and it's taking me so much strength to hold him down and then he was like who are you what are you doing here and all this stuff like trying to get him out it's just wild and it didn't help that you know the girls like his girlfriend was there like they're all screaming and crying just adds to it's like a it's like a horror scene like literally mm -hmm. like in the church and what what baffles me to this day is like why didn't the church the people working there heard us, hear us part of my theory is that it was probably it was late they're all home they're probably different parts of the church because it's like nine or ten at night um next thing you know like he going through this whole thing he's not even speaking english he decks my friend like and leaves him a fucking uh, uh i think a cut or a bruise on the face uh and uh yeah and he was he's just like not even speaking english anymore he's like ah, and like in my head it could be dissociative disorder where he could be like multiple personalities you know that's one way to look at it another one's like you know in the spiritual realm you know there's something that really took hold of him uh and eventually we got to a point of like of you know we got him to strong enough to stand up and hold the monstrance and say, say Jesus is Lord, say Jesus is Lord, all this other stuff. And he was like, this thing that was like, that took over my friend was like, <laughs> like having a hard time saying it, just even putting out words. And then if once you finish the sentence, <laughs> it's not, he like yacked in a sense. And I'm like, while that's happening, I'm trying to support him. Like, fuck, he just threw up in the chapel. We have to clean this up. <laughs> <laughs> but in his innocence yak was like the spirit coming out like vomit and it was gone and he just passed out right after that yeah. so it was like a, an intense like episode i've never seen it and it was like we're high schoolers like i think it was a senior seeing all this so i'm like shit church shit is no joke <laughs> right now <laughs> 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 fucking go home pray my rosary and all this shit <laughs> But yeah, that was that. And like after that, he woke up. He had no idea what happened. His girlfriend was afraid to approach him, like the rest of the, the retreat. And then, uh, yeah, that was our, my, I guess, exorcist, the exorcist experience or exorcism mm -hmm. experience. It was pretty like in your face. Uh, my, my, my youth minister is an ex CIA agent, but also like he used to do a lot of, uh, missionary work so he's like yeah this is shit i would see like going in other countries so like he already knew what to do thank god because fuck i don't know what would have done if it was like a you know a very clean cut kind of youth minister this guy was like no nah, he knew like fucking knew what to do right off the bat it was wild mm -hmm. so from then there like and then on i was like yeah i i, I it might be psychological, but for me, it's just like I've I've also seen random things. Oh, this is an interesting fun thing. <laughs> like seen random things that I feel like um, are I think are imagination, but then I see that there's something really happening else. Like uh, like I, I at Jamaica, I was at uh, at this retreat home. Like uh, like it was at an orphanage. I was helping taking take care of orphans, um, but. Oh, um, I guess that's my thing. No one, I went to Jamaica to help take care of orphans. So, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, um, but at this one, like the girls, the people that were sleeping there, the girls that came with us, like they had a hard time sleeping in the room. So I'm just chilling. We're like talking about it, like, and he was like, Cleet, Cleet, my youth minister was like, we were having a hard time sleeping there. I've, I haven't slept well for the past two, three days. And then we're like talking about it. Next thing I know, I see this, you know, guys know Baraka from like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, so he comes out and he just looks at me, and it just Get keeps out. walking around. So, yeah. So, uh, okay. Good. Okay, Brandon. Yeah, if you have to bow, yeah. Your internet seems to be good right now. It, it looks like. Never mind. So, Go back. But yeah. He all this shit is believable, but I can't go 30 and 0 in Halo, right? <laughs>